I don't know. He peeled off some pretty good drag there when we first caught him. There we go. Going to the bottom. <laughs> How do you try to fight a fish like this? Well, basically, you just want to slow and methodical, right? Biggest thing is, of course, we're doing catch and release fishing, so everything's barbless. So we want to keep that line tight, keep a little bit of a bend in the rod. I like these rods because they got a soft tip, so that tip stays with it even when they fight, you know? That's the problem sometimes with those harder, heavier, heavier rods is it's such a beam, you know, such a pull that it doesn't really bend and stay with the fish. So I find we lose way less once I started using this kind of equipment. Um, we want to reel it up nice and slow so we don't get it up too fast. Then it's allow then it allows it to expel the air out of its air bladder that comes up, especially when you're fishing at these bigger depths, right? Of course, because they live down in the depths, they, uh, they have an air bladder that allows them to adjust to whatever depth they're at. So, but when you're catching them, you have to bring them up slowly enough. And often we'll see, especially in calm water, we might not see it today, but often in calm water you'll see the bubbles coming as they come up and what that is is they're expelling the air right and so that air bladder basically allows them to sit at a certain depth and just sit there kind of motionless and hang out and then of course as they come up they can slowly expel that air but uh, if they come up too fast it over expands doesn't allow them to expel the air or <laughs> this fish doesn't want to come up does no it? <laughs> he's down at 40 feet still that's a good thing yeah slow and steady right we always want to maintain enough pressure that uh we, we tire him out too as well because of course if you just sit here and and don't really pull on him then all of a sudden he'll uh he starts to regain right he's catching he's he's gaining back on you so and just slow and steady of course the fish are our biggest resource and that's the most important part to us we just want to take as much care as we can on those fish and and just make sure everything's going good and we don't uh we don't harm them at all perfect good job brett Oh, I love it. Nice, healthy beauty. One of them. Let me get that tail there, bud. There we go. 